Hello and welcome to an episode of Whack-A-Mole! Woo! Oh That's man, so satisfying. Just pounding down those irritating heads. Yeah. I mean, it's so funny they decided on those as being like what they're going to use, and then they use the same thing in uh, Link Between Worlds. Yeah. They get an amazing comeback in Link Between Worlds. Yeah, especially since you know you can get on top of them and they'll launch you in the air. Oh, it's great. And the hammer is just bigger and then more fun to swing. Yeah. Oh no, where's my hammer? No, that's not my hammer. There we go. One thing that'd be nice if this game ever got like a remake, or you know, just like you know, a more enhanced port than the Game Boy Advance one, would yep. be the ability to carry more than one item. Yeah. Right. The the SNES didn't know what to do with all those buttons, but it certainly wasn't going to let you have more items. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, like, it, it it certainly wasted the amount of buttons it had. It did. I don't think the shoulder buttons even did anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm using right them. Right pressing them right now, they're not doing anything. Yeah, they really could have just used those for item slots. Yeah, or, you know, aside, like, you know, the map to those buttons, and then, you know, mm -hmm. had your map button do something more useful than do this. <laughs> right. The job that Starter Select could do just as easily. Yeah. There we go, make this nice and illuminated in here. Yeah, it really, it really is a drag on the gameplay to have to be constantly impossible to swap out items. Yeah. It's just one of those quality of life things that Zelda series did get better at. Yeah. All, all games did, I guess. Okay, and here we have the big bad helmet. Okay. Yeah. So, the way they want you to beat this guy is to hit him with a hammer like this. But when I was a kid, I never realized that's why you wanted to kill him because, like, the hammer seemed like such an impractical weapon. So I always did this. I just blew him up. Yeah, because because you're not a chump, and the game wants you to be a chump. But like, it's not always the most effective way, and like, you could easily run out of bombs and like lose this fight. <laughs> but what I was always do was just hold my my other bombs over my head to prime them and throw yeah. them on the last side. Yeah, more like that. Yeah. I do love how it was kind of kind of earlier for me to get all memey about it, but the the Helmerot King in Link Between Worlds that's in the head. Yeah. Was was very reminiscent of the crab in Moana. And uh Moana had come out before that that game. There would have been a lot of shiny memes <laughs> in Link Between Worlds. I could see that. But alas, sometimes we are disappointed by the course of history. That is unfortunately the way things seem to go. Alright. That's, that's his big stupid face. That was him. Alright, time for some exposition. Yep, and time for him to get shiny and try again in a few years. <laughs> you know, if he had been, you know, a cool Jamaican Helmosaur with a name <laughs> like Sebastian, we would have totally not murdered him like that. Oh, not, not at all. We would have sympathized. Tingle, because of you, I feel really creeped out right now. <laughs> Did you only save me because I was a shiny, a shiny crystal? What? <laughs> You think I'm a rupee, don't you? That's all I am to you. I'm just a rupee that happens to have a girl in it. <laughs> the most valuable kind. Exactly. Link's already like, wow, I'm going to make so much money off this. Yes. Now I shall hold you hostage. Oh, she's got a mark on my map somehow with her ability to write while she's still a crystal. I think she's actually a disembodied soul. The uh, Japanese version made it pretty clear that Aghanim was just straight murdering these girls. Did it really? Wow. I feel like this is such a cool quote for the Zelda series. They should have made this iconic. Oh. Uh, yeah, it kind of died with this game. 
I mean, this could have been the game, you know, May the Fourth be with you. Yeah, and it would have been sweet. All right, so now is decision time. We have the ability to go to almost any dungeon anywhere, we want to. Anywhere you want. Yeah, so... Like, look at the map, and uh, they want us to go down to two, which that's where we get the hook shot at. But we don't have to go down to two. We get skipped to three oh. or four. Man, I usually I usually go to four at this point, so I can work on getting my uh, my sword upgrade. Yeah, that's, I, that's where I feel like I'm sort of leaning to because I like getting the sword upgrade and you know being able to open up more of the map with the uh, with the other mitts. Right. Yeah, you need that too, don't you? Yeah. And it's also yeah. nice because going up that way also lets us um, grab the flute that's um, sort of on the way. Sounds like a good decision then. Alright. I'm glad we made this decision together. <laughs> we could have spent a whole ep episode arguing, and I'm a little disappointed that we didn't. Yeah, I know. We we've had such great debates, but. Uh, on this one, we just unfortunately were able to come into uh, agreement well, I mean, over it. We're sharing a common goal of getting a better sword and murdering everybody. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything necessarily down here, but we're going to take a look. Maybe something in this cave? I don't necessarily feel as uh, familiar with the uh, dark world as I am with the light world, so... No, no, he spent a lot less time in any particular corner of the dark world. Look at this guy, he's like, he's got like these great eyebrows. Either that or like it's glasses hanging off the top of his face. He's a pretty sweet looking bird. Oh, there's a circle of rocks at the base of the river. I don't know what will happen, but it might be fun to throw something into it. Oh, is that your story you want me to pay you for? Thank you, that was so useful. Okay. I think the easiest way... Is this going to be mirroring back into the uh, light world? Yeah, it's usually the fastest. Then you have the power of smacking pulses into the ground. Or this power. <laughs> You'll reset teleport. Exactly. That's exactly where we want to be. We have to cut through the Lost Woods anyway, and this takes us uh, right by the Lost Woods. That's where you want to be. Okay, whatever, dude. I don't have time for you. Okay, so... I think it might be down here. Oh no, all the fake... the, the fake Master Sword's gone. How are you going to be distracted by fake master swords if you're not even there? I have probably, no idea. You probably should have stockpiled them in your house and then started planting them after you got out. Yeah, exactly. Or, you know, you know, put them in my house and maybe, you know, paid some exorbitant fees to uh, get some plaques for them. Right. Man, you, you were not kidding when you were saying earlier that they took all the atmosphere out of Lost Woods. Yeah, like right now, we don't even get the Lost Woods theme, it's just a basic overworld theme. Yeah, that's really sad. The shadow effect is nice, though. Yeah, I mean, it's, what they're doing right now looks really cool. Well, there's a fake sword. Oh, okay, maybe I guess some of them are gone. Yeah, maybe they just don't respawn. Yeah, maybe that yeah. dude took them. <laughs> Those thieves, man, you can't even kill them. Which yeah. is really just a commentary on society. Yeah. It's almost like they're my jokers. I can't kill them. Like, I can kill all the mooks, but I can't kill the actual person responsible for all our woes and troubles. 
And then 50 years later, you find out there's actually three of them. All right. So, yeah, take this back way, and uh, they make it seem like you have to have, you know, a certain way to get here first, because you have to use a hook shot to get to this area. Otherwise, unless you go to this portal the other way around. Which is, which is the magic of the game. Yeah. Go where you want. Link does not care. He will not be concerned. Oh no, it's a bone chicken. Oh my goodness, what's going on around here? And that tree just tried to attack us. Bombs. What an inhospitable place. Yeah, this is so cool. Like, you know, first time <laughs> you run into a tree and like it starts talking to you. Yeah. You're like, what the hell is going on here? Oh, it's great. Okay, so... I think before I go into this dungeon here, mm -hmm. I'm going to head over to the Blacksmith and uh, go back to the Light World. Okay, yep. Good thinking. You wouldn't want to be living a curse-free life. Exactly, like, I've already got cursed once with this annoying medallion I didn't ask for. But I feel like I could get cursed more than that. You could get, you could get worse way better than that. Or can you? I don't know, let's find out. Oh yeah, let's suppose we're no real barrier. I'm thinking... To get the light world for the start anyway. Yeah. Just can't get to the blacksmith. Yeah, but I can get into here. Man, what's this crazy contraption? I don't know. Like, I wonder what would happen if I threw some magic powder on it. Natural thing to do. Oh. Hey, blast you for waking me from my deep, dark sleep. I mean, thanks a lot, sir. But now I will get my revenge on you. Get ready for it. Uh, is that okay with you, sir? Oh no, Cursey Curse Lightning. Oh my goodness, what's happening what to me? Ah, ha, ha, ha. I laugh at your misfortune. Now your magic power will drop by one half. Congratulations. Now do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough. Have a nice day. See you. Man, you lost half your magic. Yeah. Yeah, so before we like conclude this episode, I just want to say like it's really... This character is like one of my favorite things in this game. Oh, like, yeah. I thought it was hilarious, and I love that he's in a Link's Awakening, and you get to run into him like three times, and he like I think he does like your inventory stuff in that game. That's and he's like in that game, he's like, "Ha! Now you have to carry around all those bombs." Like, right, right. <laughs> like it's so yeah. inconvenient. There was a similar character in Thousand Year Door, Paper Mario. Yeah, there was like four of them, and uh, yeah. <laughs> It's like, ah, now you'll have to turn into a sailboat on the water. And it's, it's great because so you get sad. to like the you get to like the fourth one, and like Mario is just like so over the shit by that point. <laughs> yeah. And like the the door the, the um the guy is cursing you as a chest. He's like he, he's sort of offended that you're not reacting mm -hmm. as much as you would before. He's like, all right, fine, let's get on with it and just do what we have to do. Right. Yeah, it was really well done. Yeah. All right, but yeah, let's let's finish up here. That seemed like a good place. Sure. So we'll uh, come back next time. Good night.